Hi, my name is Greg Lutz, and I'm a jazz musician, and this segment is on how to play runs. To play runs, oftentimes jazz musicians refer to these as licks. The very first thing you're going to need to do, you're going to need to listen to your favorite jazz pieces. In fact, if you would pick your one favorite jazz piece and listen to that thing over and over and over and over. Some uh, folks used to make dump tapes. Now I know nowadays it would be a dump iPod. But, or you could just put your iPod on, on uh, repeat and listen to that one track 60 times in a row. Eventually, you'll be able to sing along with it and sing along with all the licks and runs that they're using. The next thing you're going to need to do is a transcription of that. Some very famous solos can be found transcribed already online. I'm sure you can do a search for your favorite artist. Maybe that solo has been transcribed. That will save you a lot of trouble, but it will um, cheat you out of an experience that you should have. Write down the notes that your favorite player is playing. The next thing you're going to want to do is to pick one of the licks that he's using and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. Did I mention you should repeat it? You cannot play this lick too often. Jazz is at times a simple music, but it was invented by a very obsessive type of person. The more times you repeat your run or your lick in practice, the better chance you're going to have when you go to use it in real time. When you use your lick in real time, you will need to access your memory of that lick at the correct spot in the tune. For example, let's start from the beginning. Let's say that I've been listening to Charlie Parker, who is considered one of the fathers of jazz, especially for the alto saxophone. And I've been listening to one of his cuts, one of the tracks, over and over and over. Finally, I do a bit of transcribing, and I transcribe several of his licks. If I'm very ambitious, I'll transcribe the entire solo. I'll pick one of those licks. Let's say that lick is this. I'll repeat that lick in my practice session dozens, perhaps hundreds of times. And you have to repeat it, and as you repeat it, you have to make sure that your tonguing and your articulation and everything is just exactly the way that Charlie Parker did. Finally, I'll break out a background track, or maybe I have friends that play piano, bass, and drums, and over top of some song, I will try to use it in real time. And that is how to play runs, or licks, on the alto saxophone.